Go get an angle here if they cooperate. Okay, they're taking advantage of the fact they can shoot through the grating. Always not to keep firing, so. Down. Ooh, nice. So can stand here now. Ooh, just completely depleted. Oh, that's down as well. Did see a third window. Use it. Okay, that's the last hunter. Oh yeah. Man axe. Great. Don't, I don't remember this bit at all. I remember the this playing out a bit differently. I must be just fudging the memory. That or I did this bit. I just don't remember. It can be man anything. Where do we go? Uh, this way. Red star? Okay. There we go. I know steam, the steam keeps going until you uh, unhand the valve. Up. Ah, asshole. Nice. Okay, I need to pull back. There's Healy's down here. Um Over here. Better. No 
no stair jumping down as well. Even the NPCs know the uh, valve ladders aren't the best. He ta talked a bit again there, but uh, I'm just, again, I'm just checking the audio levels because I'm paranoid you can't hear me. The, my bar is going higher, so I'm assuming you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should be. I was going to say most of the time, but unless I talk like this and uh, yeah, unless I talk absurdly low, you should be able to hear me over the rest. Should going solely by the audio bars. Up. Hmm. It went down easy. I was trying to shoot those canisters, but they didn't seem to want to go off. He says that, but I question if you can trust the person. I doubt he has the ability to have a civil chat with him. Trust seems like a bit much. Baby steps, dude. Maybe not roaring at someone for, you know, five seconds. I think they're just going to keep coming, so there's no point in trying to clear them out, except what we need to. We even have really have a way to respond to him. Like Freeman does, and he's a sound protagonist. But 
Oh, I guess there must be an intercom system somewhere. the way you go about it. Okay. Not sure if that was the way I was meant to go about it, but it was effective. Oh great. The sub's back. Not really surprising. Oh, that was useful. That's kind of cool. Okay. Glad that's over. We couldn't get in until you sealed off the silo and the blast doors opened up. Regrettably true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Barely. Died once. Ah, oh, intercom. Freeman must follow. He's got the name tag there. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can't quite make out the name, but we've heard it earlier. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Honor. In copious quotes. Told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here, but he wouldn't tell me why. Hmm. Ah, this is what where I got to. I we have it. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to get a better opinion in a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than. I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. There was no stopping her. Wait a moment. There's something else here. It's the Borealis. Good God. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Does the Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But as the Combine says, he'll tear out everything he knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after it. Now, 
Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the combine to go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just leave me alone. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine. In a minute, too. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, you keep an eye on him. We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Empowering those hips. Unforeseen consequences. Mm -hmm. Top your title for the, the first game. The time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. Hmm? You had just stepped into the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. G-man. You know yep. who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. I'm glad someone else is actually acknowledges him. I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reason. So much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are. Oh, oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you're finished, if that's more convenient. <laughs> I believe I found the perfect use for you. Follow Can I eat him? We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Can I eat him? It's pretty much the only use for this guy. Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. That's all I've been told. You don't dare launch them. I know it's a foreign concept. This ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. He's sitting on it. Of course you do. My chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Uh-huh. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull, then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out Rude. in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need. Oh, so this is all new. I remember him t talking in the door. Oh, oh him bit. Uh, I swear he was back more in the doorway when he was talking, but uh, I remember it that, and then us leaving to go work, uh, do the job with him. And then I paused, say, say, stopped, saved, never came back. So this is all new. Like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. 
They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Go ahead and take to the the main body of the strider. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you. Yeah. Let's move on to a more challenging task. Under the rail. Ready to head up. Where are you? Oh, had enough. Your car and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesins. <laughs> oh, and Freeman. If you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. <laughs> you know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. <laughs> oh, that's funny. For those who don't know, at the start of Half-Life 1, when you go in, you can find a guy in the canteen uh, trying to heat some food up in the microwave. You can mess with the microwave and cause it to ruin his food. Apparently that was Magnuson. Speaking of Induendo, Over here. my mind can't help but see this as bits, you know, one fallopian tube that way, another that way, and it's a mutant third one. It's like the chick from uh, Total Recall, but it's three tubes instead of two. Not quite as hot. I've taken a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Tweak your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard. Now, plus, we'll send a homing signal to your HPV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now, check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Okay, I'm gonna pause and check the Steam uh, entry here for the E10. So apparently, there's a new Walking Dead game out. No idea if I can even LP those. Um, I think there's an achievement. For yeah, save all buildings outside the missile silo from destruction. Also, the achievement for getting every Antoine Grupp. Kill a combine soldier with his own grenade. Um, remember the chopper with the mines? Killed without missing. Break every web cache. Kill, kill 30 enemies with thrown physics objects. And then it just saved the missile silo. Yeah, like I said, never completed this. Keep alert. 
Sawmill is that way. They're expecting you. Okay. Come closer. So they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh oh North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider <laughs> approaching from the cranes. Defensive position, go! Shit. I could sprint. He must have had me. Well, they have a good for me. They shot it off. Damn it. I've never seen out getting shot by that. I'll be saying oh wow. It didn't stick. Ow! He says like he stubbed his toe. Nice. Give up the good work, Doc! Strider at the sawmill! I need medical supplies. Okay, we got to reload. Oh boy, here we go. Everyone ready? We need to stop him here. Remember, keep him distracted. Oh, we can take some down. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Hey, stay focused. Start shooting. The hunters down. Nice. Strider at the sawmill. Very good at shooting them off. Good, that's sound. Damn it. Damn, I'm out of Magnusons. Let's just reload. Ooh. Oh, man. Here we go. I can just cheat it. He really lo loves that uh, lumber mill.
Maybe we'll do the thing over there. I can't sprint when I'm having one of these, unlike most things. Jumping is a bit faster though. Ooh, whoops. And over Magnus. Thankfully it didn't detonate. I didn't even realize it was there. I wish I knew this area better. Nice. And Magnus didn't feel pride in, in the accomplishment of others. I thought that was. I thought he was, wasn't able. I think doctors know, never do. Another Strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill. I'm hurt. Good for you. Use the car against the hunters, Magnuson against the uh, Strider.
take thoughts for more than just one. Given all the damage the vehicle's taken, I wasn't sure if there was even still a rack on the back. handy to have a nice little stockpile. Suddenly it feels like I'm playing black and white again, because I remember doing this a ton. You get like these little different shrines that um, give you spells. And you can... Uh, you get, yeah, there's these shrines and you can get these balls that if you pop them, you get a spell. Um, but if you just keep, if you take the ball off the shrine and leave it fall wherever, you, this shrine will generate another ball, and you still have the other ball. So you can just have mass stockpiles. Of course, you have to be careful with them, I think they can kill your citizens, but yeah. Damn, everything's gone. Sounds like my relationship with my ex-wife. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No way. Just her. I know. Just, just felt like the appropriate joke for the moment. Sorry, too. Now there's one at the sawmill.
nothing I can do for that one. I just need to uh, head back and get another bomb. Pretty much take out one at a time. At least I can re-gear fast. Why didn't you tell us so? Damn it, Cassandra. with the crowbar is I don't think I we quite have the range. Okay, there's one heading right for my little depot. Okay, I took the wrong turn, but this one will serve just fine. Ah, there's my supply one. It's a little off to one side. Still worked out just fine. I'm just stuck here. Nice. Oh, it was all of them still. Attention, attention! The Striders have been defeated. All personnel return to base immediately. Repeat, all personnel return to base immediately. Sorry. Yes, worship me. Yes, the cultic thumbs up. Wow, Gordon. You were amazing out there. You only had to reload a few times. That was actually a ton of fun. Yeah. Aw, one to the light on fire. Just previous room. In its final stages. The port is close to open, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it.
see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. <laughs> I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um... I love the expressions on on her. It's fantastic. It's... Oh. Thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit chat. I've got a rocket to launch. Um, the I know what it was, you know, I got a rocket launch and it's went from to be like It's alive I know. So suddenly suddenly started thinking me make make me think of that kind of mad scientist. Rather rather than just mad cunt. Something here might be, um... And armed? Of course. Don't ever say, of course. We can't take anything for granted. No. Of course. No. <laughs> Avionics to internal power. Yes, yes. I... I plan to do the Black Mesa game at some stage. Uh, I remember seeing a bit of that footage, and someone um, had a lot of fun with the subtitling in that. I remember. Yeah, I just hear muttering, and they they really broke out the Tiasaurus for that one bit. It was funny. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to see someone sassing him. I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. Oh, good. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Got in dust for 13 years. That's his toy. No, but not his, not toy. That I was looking at that. That's his pet head crab, which is actually kind of depressing, really. I'm kind of a bleeding heart, and I know I've been really off and just. That night, I just thought of Violet Evergarden earlier, and I started crying. Well. Got kind of misty, but yeah. God damn, I cried like a bitch so much at that show. God damn. It's very sweet. I remember seeing someone criticizing it and just, they didn't seem to get it. And it just, yeah. It is a very sweet show. It, 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 just keep in mind. There's fucked up shit in it. The main character is fucking child, uh, ex child soldier. Um, so yeah, it's kind of dark. So uh, yeah. Sorry, mine's wandering. Yeah. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon. <laughs> I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You're here, no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Big red button. Dude, feel really soon. I 
I do feel bad about the poor head crop. We did it. Wow. We sure did. Yes. Fantastic. It's still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up, I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold Dog, up. Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're going to miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now, when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. And that would make things a lot more awkward if I was your son, considering how much you want to sh me to shag her. too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Don't go too far. Given Dog and his, you know, sixth sense for danger, you... I think she would have, after years of having him, be, be like, shit, better get a fucking rifle. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Just looking at the hook leg, it's kind of cool, but I think so. Doctor Kleiner gave us looks kind of awkward, you know. Keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Dad, Gordon, help! Well, it was only a matter of time.
Because I knew it ended on that note, but I did know it ended on that note. Just, you know, Alex just sobbing into your headset for a couple of moments with black screen. It's just like, oh shit. And that was pretty gribbly. Also... I know, uh, I swear I remember seeing something, in, you know, before, you know, intelligence vampires, things able to steal memories and shit. I'm just waiting for advisors to turn out, well, then now they know everything about the resistance, because, well, they stat they tongued the guy's brain. But I'm afraid we'll never fucking know, because Valve does not like the, f well, not, does not like the number three. Um, so, yeah, somehow, um, don't I I don't see a sever Stam damn it my mind is frazzled. Yeah, uh sadly I don't see us ever, you know, finding out given that Valve doesn't like the number three. So uh I guess we don't need to worry about that. So, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed Half Life Two, Episode Two. I felt like there was need to be Half Life Two, Episode Two, Season Two or something else, but no, it's just Half-Life 2, Episode 2. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it, and I, and I hope you join me again for something in the future. I've no idea what I'll be recording after this, I've no idea when this will be even going out. Um, I I was working on Deus Ex 2 recently, and but I wanted to work on something else. Uh, so, you know, I get in the mood, want to play something different. So, I end up uh, finishing off episode one and now episode two uh, of episode two, and oh, English, my English is failing. The, oh yeah, and I'll be going back to uh, finishing off Deus Ex two. I could, uh, you know, upload, you know, you know, upload say part twenty in Deus Ex two then release these, or you know, wherever I currently am in Deus Ex, release these, then get back to it, but nah, I'll probably do Deus Ex 2, then d release these, then go into Mankind Divided. Which I got, thanks to a Humble Bundle. Um, the humble Monthly 10. Oh yeah, Humble Monthly. I keep thinking it was a Humble Monthly Bundle, but no, it's just Humble Monthly. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, it'll be Deus Ex 2, then these, then Mankind Divided, I guess. Um, then maybe I'll try and do Doom, because they do have the first two episodes of that recorded. Though, sadly, I wasn't able to save. For whatever reason, I couldn't get it to save. I'm not sure where I flubbed up. Thinking I, I might know where, but... Well, no, till I test. I'd well, go and check. I kept hitting, like, you know, I was on the save menu, kept hitting enter, and... Won't save, but I'm thinking maybe I needed to type something first. I have no idea. It's the only thing I can think of, either that or the save feature just doesn't work in the game. But anyway, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this, even with Eli there getting tongued to the brain. The one tongue you don't want. And I hope you join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know in the comment section below. But do keep in mind the backlog we're dealing with here. This is late 2018, and this has been released in 2019, 2020? I actually don't remember. But yeah, this has been released sometime in the future. Uh, at least in a, year, a year's time. So... Yeah, do, do keep that in mind. So, feel free to tell me shit. Just keep in mind that... You know, by the time it comes out, you know, I'm like, say if you suggest a game, I might have already gotten to it. Or, you know, relevancy mightn't matter as much. Still, I'm not telling, saying don't tell me stuff, just keep that in mind. So, till then, I hope you've enjoyed. Love and peace, baby.